see this is what happens when you're worried about lawn renovations is you get up at five in the morning or you've been awake since like four in the morning because you can't sleep because you need to go check and make sure the fungus isn't overtaking your yard like not that I could absolutely do anything about it at this point but I just can't sleep so there you go Good morning everyone, and it's finally sweatshirt weather today. I love sweatshirt weather. I haven't had a sweatshirt on since I can't even remember, but I kid you not, on Thursday, it's now Saturday morning, we had a high here of 95 degrees. Now last night it got down to about just above 40. So that'll give you an idea too of how crazy our weather can be in a very small span of time, but that's just how it goes here. I will always love to see dying crabgrass. So the shed has become an extreme mess since I got all this renovation stuff going on and I moved tools all around and everything's out of place. So today it's time to actually work on that a little bit. And then we have some side renovation things to do which I wanted to show you, kind of the main whole point of this video today. And it's gonna be a fun Saturday. In the meantime here I did spray tenacity down on this yard three days ago again and this is nuts edge right here but check this out. So you can see it turning white you can see that it's starting to turn white right in there. And again, tenacity has been working extremely well for me. So this stuff is pretty amazing, honestly, and I haven't used it over the years just because I was like, eh, I don't think I really want to spend that kind of money on a little bottle like that. However, that little bottle is getting me a long, long way. I've barely used any of it. And I have more things to kind of work on in my backyard. I have a few kind of problem areas of some clover and also some mainly some creeping Charlie ground ivy type stuff that can get pretty invasive. So I'm going to try it on that. And so to me, it's worth it. It's been extremely helpful over in this renovation area. Without it, I would have had a lot more crabgrass coming in and uh, it kills it off pretty easily. So I've been extremely impressed. I just wanted to give you a few thoughts there on my actual results again after spraying so far, so good. It's how easy it's been to actually just take these reels out. Then I thought today I'd probably just take this thing out of here and actually check it to make sure it's cutting paper. Kind of clean off the blades a little bit if I can. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's very simple to take out of here. So it's a lot easier than trying to tip back the mower and do it that way. So I really wanted to mow with the Swordman today, but I walked out on the yard a little bit. It's still kind of soft. I looked around, I investigated a few more things. There's still some pretty delicate bluegrass down in there. So I'm gonna go back to my other manual reel mower today, which I really actually like using. It's pretty fun. But I think very, very soon, probably in the next couple of mows or so, I'll be able to use the Swordman and I'm really looking forward to that. And that'll kind of test my leveling as well, which I'm not sure I actually want to know about because if I didn't do the greatest job and I spent a whole lot of time over there, I'm not going to be too happy about it, but we'll see what happens.
I don't really know what to say. I'm just, uh, I'm really happy with how it looks so far. I'm kind of at a loss for words here for a second. It's growing in really nicely. The bluegrass is really starting to catch up to it. I think just that little bit of growth regulator that I used on it a few weeks ago did help slow it just a touch. Uh, the tenacity looks like it affected the bluegrass a little bit to where some of the leaves are turning a little bit white, but from what I've been reading with that, sometimes on delicate grass it can turn it white for just a little bit, and usually that will grow out of that. So hopefully there I'm okay, I didn't do any major damage, but so far it looks like the crabgrass is starting to die, looks like my fungus problem seems to be gone for right now, and we are on cooler weather so I hope that that continues the way that it's been going, but so far can't wait to use the Swardman very soon, and it's looking great. So that little reel mower right there, I can't say how much I'm impressed with it, how much it has really helped out in mowing this section over here, not having to have a heavy machine on it. Even a push mower on there is heavy enough that you can create a little bit of wheel marks and things in the ground. So since I'm really trying to keep things level over there, I noticed when I was mowing today I could feel some of the peat moss that had shifted around. There's a few bumps. All that will be fixed over time, but in general, this thing has been an amazing help for me. So the only fertilizer that I've put down so far is just the starter fertilizer that I put down on the day of seeding. So now would be a good time to throw down a little bit of malorganite right before it gets to a little bit cooler climate here. So I want to try to get it down into this heat for the next couple days or so, heat as in like 70s. But that should hopefully help it break down a little bit faster, I'll water it in as well. And then we'll be adding synthetic fertilizer yet this fall, kind of spoon feeding and I'll explain that when we get to it. So I had so much fun with that mow today. I hope you enjoyed it as well. I'll have so much more coming this fall. So thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.